Hey guys, let me just give you some numbers so you know how massive this disaster truly is to local game stores and content creators like Argos who purchased 5,000 boxes to sell. Now, it, it's a curse, right? It's a toxic asset. Did you keep the 5,000 boxes? Then you're really down money. Did you sell the 5,000 boxes? Then you have a customer base that will... You can only imagine how angry the customer base is at this exact moment in time because they feel like they got fleeced. Because uh, So let me give you some numbers. Distributor cost is $70. That's what uh, Argos paid. That's what Nick and Strength Pokemon paid. That's what if I had the distributor that handled MetaZoo, that's what I would have paid. $70 a booster box. The MSRP is $140. MetaZoo tells its partners, its content creators, its local game stores that they don't want to see the price under $140 a booster box. Now, the problem is the booster box is under $70 now and it is heading down as we speak because the official product, the official collector's edition, which has two booster boxes, a metal case to hold your booster box in to display free promos which are better than any promo our ghost can give you especially if you're a meta kitty if you're a hello kitty fan then obviously you want your promos to have hello kitty on it it's, it's really simple to understand um a dice some sleeves and etc right so you get a little bit extra stuff but most importantly are the free promos and the extra box so that package was three hundred dollars People paid $300 for it, and they were refunded $150 by eBay, which is the correct thing to do. Um, they would have been ferocious if they would not receive that refund because that would be very bad. But that being said, people like, Meta, uh, people like Argos, people like uh, Alpha Investments, local game stores that sold it for $140, which is what they were told to do, um, got effed, man. They got effed because it's a lose lose. You're either you're probably in holding some amount of dead product. You're probably holding some amount of dead product. But um, on on top of the dead product, right? Um, you may have sold some of it. Um, if you did sell any of it, then you are in grave grave danger because chargebacks, credit cards, PayPal, I'm not exactly sure um, what other things, right? But yeah, it, it, it sucks to be here, right? Um, it sucks to be, it, it really sucks to be in a place where you are in trouble um, because you're, the customers that you sold this to obviously are not happy that the price has gone down so much after basically receiving it for a few days. And if you didn't sell it, you would be in a, even more trouble, in my opinion, because now you're holding a dead asset that is continuously going down and down and down in price. So I do feel like that this is a lose-lose for local card game shops. If you ordered more than 100 boxes of this, you cannot be in a good mood. Um, I mean, it is a situation where I just don't really understand how they could do this. Um, now you might be like, oh, you know, what's the what's the solution? The solution was really obvious. The solution was go ahead and contact Argos, contact uh, Alpha Investments especially, and say, hey, we got a problem. The problem is we have too much inventory. We have 7,000 of these boxes we want to liquidate, or 7,000 of these collector's editions, two boxes a piece. We want to liquidate 10,000 boxes, alpha investment, for $20 a box. Would you eat this and hold on to it and then sell it to your patron slowly? Um, and you would. I would buy. I, I mean, at, at 5,000, which times two, $10,000, I would, I would straight up pay 20,000 for this. And then there would never be any of this problem. The problem would be solved. There is no problem. So let me repeat this again. The solution was to find a private buyer like myself, right? And sell it for a discount price. You wouldn't tank the market. You could still sell your box for 300 
and you wouldn't put the local game stores that supported you, the content creators that supported you, you wouldn't run them over with a bus, which is what they've been run over with. I mean, it's obvious to me that they're aft, man. They There is no one screwed more than Argos at this moment in time. He either has very angry customers who will never pre-order again. They're in the comments. You know, a guy ordered two boxes and he's upset. Imagine ordering six or ten boxes of this from him at 140 a pop and, and being, you know, upset, right? I don't know if he sold at 140 a pop. I'm assuming he did. And then he gave them, like, extra promos and cards because that's what they're supposed to be doing from MetaZoo, right? They hyped it, they hyped it, and hyped it, and went to basically half off. It didn't go to zero, it just lost half its value overnight, which is pretty bad. I mean, that's not good, that's not, that's not going to the moon, guys. When you lose half your money, that's definitely not heading to the moon. You're not heading in the right direction if that is honestly the case, right? So, yeah, it's a very strange situation, and I can't really kind of explain it, like, easily, except to say, like, this is a disaster, and they could have avoided this. Even if they sold it for $40 a box, yeah, I would buy it. Um, I would buy it, especially if it didn't drop. Right now, I wouldn't buy it at the current price because I think it's heading to 40 anyway. But if it was a private seller, if they had 5,000 of these boxes, they want to, they're going to sell 2,000 on eBay, right? They can do that. And they didn't want to hold 5,000 of them, which has two boxes. That's 10,000 boxes. And they wanted, um, oh, actually, that 10,000 boxes would be times 20, 200,000. Yeah, I would pay 200,000 for it, no problem. I, I did the math slightly wrong. But at 200,000, yeah, no problem. I would buy them out at $20 a box, uh, 10,000 boxes. They can, um, they can get, you know, they can, whatever they want to do with the promos or the metallic things, whatever, right? But I get them out. And the market doesn't collapse, and they can sell their boxes for three hundred and slowly. I do like them. Uh, my girlfriend actually likes them. We uh, we probably will open some of this uh, very soon after the whole Squishmallow craze. And I I I don't I, I don't think Alpha Investments would have any problem paying two hundred thousand dollars for ten thousand boxes either. It's a very good deal on the industry. On, it's a really good deal for whoever's going to buy it privately. Because they can hold it for a long time. Uh, would I pay three hundred thousand? Yeah. Would I pay four? I, I, if they weren't dumping this, and I knew this, I, and they told me what the print run was, and the print run was, let's say, fifty thousand total boxes, right? And I get ten thousand of those boxes. Uh, I yeah, I would be pretty happy with that. I, I wouldn't have any problem buying it for four hundred thousand dollars. And this is my offer to TCG player. They have a shit ton, right? I'm not going to offer 40. I would offer 300,000 to take uh, 5,000 of these kits off your hand. Anyway, my guys.